the opposite. Ladies and gentlemen, we will not survive the policies of this president. If we don't rise up as our forefathers did 234 years ago, we will lose everything they sacrificed for. Like them, we will have lost not only the fruits of our hard-earned labor, but our freedoms too, and most tragic, the freedoms of our children and our grandchildren. We are at a tipping point. Either we will turn this American ship around quickly, or we will all go down with it. The tipping point is so fragile, one way it leans will purge the nation of this leadership and all who follow it. Out with the czars. Out with the sexual radicals that, like Chai Feldblum and Kevin Jennings, the so-called safe school czar who believes in sex between adults and children. Out with those people. Out with them. with the tyrants in Congress who would punish corporations who dare to disagree. Oh. Out with the leaders of ACORN and SEIU oh. who break the law to steal elections and destroy American institutions with impunity. Out with the tyrants as ju of justice under the leadership of Attorney General Holder. Oh who protect terrorists and put their own citizens at risk, who release members of the new Black Panthers charged with intimidating voters while putting citizens like us on special watch lists. Out! Out with the president who treats our friends like enemies and our enemies like friends. Out! Out with the president who bows to the Saudi prince and the Chinese president, who gives flowery speeches to the Arab world claiming America is a Muslim nation while disrespecting and degrading our own traditions. Out! Out with a president who says, whether we like it or not, we remain a dominant military superpower. Whether we like it or not, we remain a dominant military superpower. He just said that two years ago. Whether we like it or not, out! With a president who wishes his nation weaker, one who sets about to make it so. And yes, the tipping point is fragile. And if we tip the other way, we will find out readily what it's like to not be a military superpower, as terrorists and rogue nations gladly take us up on our weakness. We will find out what sustained and increasing unemployment is like, what poverty for more Americans looks like, more stores boarded, more businesses failing, more government handouts until they dwindle when there are no more so-called rich to provide them, less freedom to express ideas and opinions, to explore personal gifts, more indoctrination into leftist ideology. No conservative talk radio or alternative media like Fox News Channel, which I'm happy to work for. Minimal health care, seniors neglected and dying earlier, and the privileged political class at the front of the medical lines, all lines for that matter, and the American ship sinking into the abyss of poverty and obscurity. Ouch! Well, what separates us from those two paths? It is, ladies and gentlemen, simply put, you and I. It is your presence here today. It is your insistence on continuing to be able to speak the truth, to make your own choices, to voice your opposition to tyrannical government, to defend the Constitution and exercise your First Amendment rights. Yes, fellow Tea Partiers, who do you think is energizing this country? It's you! Is it the politicians in Washington? Is it the Republican Party? No, it is the Tea Party movement. They are motivated by you. While some have been lulled to sleep by the opium of power, others want to do what's right. And your energy has given them the encouragement to speak up and fight. You. The Tea Party, or what is, humanly speaking, going to turn this nation around. So which way will we tip? The way of freedom or the way of tyranny? Freedom! Fight, my friends, fight, fight. And in the words of the immortal Winston Churchill, never give up. Thank you.